Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the difference between Python versus Scala and which is best for Apache Spark developer. I have received a lot of queries in WhatsApp regarding to this topic so that we just plan to make this as a video. Let's go to discuss. Here I have take this comparison only for Spark developers and it may have a lot of other differences also. So first one is type safety, which means if you declare a variable in programming language, it should mention the type of the data like integer, string and float, etc. But Python can do it dynamically and Scala can possible to do in static. Learning Python is very easy to learn and fast to develop the code and debug it. But in Scala, we have to learn it a bit difficult and tough to debug the existing code. And one more thing, Scala source code developed on top of Java. So you may need to learn Java additionally in future to use Java API and libraries. Data science. Python have extensive large libraries are available and easy to integrate to Spark via Python packages. Later we will be discuss that too, but Scala is still under development and dependency with Java JDKs. Community Again Python have large community support, so whenever you have a queries while doing a development that you can easily fix it. But in Scala, you may be the first user to find this kind of errors and sometimes you may get bugs with respect to Java extensions. Cross-platform Python can do directly cross-communicate with other programming languages like C and Java which is called as Cython and Jython. But in Scala, you can achieve it via Java JDKs and it could be functional programming modeling. Concurrency. This is one important thing is missed in Python because Python can directly communicate with its operating system via interpreter. So it is a bit slow but Apache Spark algorithm can handle by its catalyst optimizer and whole code generator. But in Scala it compiles into Java source code in backend via JVM. Spark's dataset. In Spark, there is one additional core concept is called a data set like RDD data frame which help to wrap up the schema types on your data frame using case class. So it is not available in Python due to no type safety on Python programming. But it's not a big deal if suppose you are not worrying much about it. In Scala, we can achieve this easily but as per my experience, data frame is mostly used in Spark. Colors it is a powerful Python extension, especially for data science and machine learning developers to implement the Pandas algorithm into Apache Spark. But Scala is not supported on this. Java dependency. As I already told you that Python have no dependency with Java, but Scala should wrap up with Java JDKs. If there is no grow up Java, then Scala won't extend it. At the end of this conclusion, my opinion is if you are not familiar with big data and plan to learn Apache Spark, then Python is easy to learn fast and switch into Spark immediately. Also, if you plan to switch into data science and machine learning in future, then Python is best option to you. If you are planning majorly for data handling and already familiar with Java development, then Scala is best to learn additionally and easy to integrate with Java object models. Anyhow, it's up to your comforts and decisions. Thanks for watching.